Hello guys, how you doing? Um, just thought I'd bring you along. Um, quite a special video for myself here. Um, I've come up to see a guy, which I'm sure you'll all know. Um, so, without further ado, let's introduce you to him. Look hey. at that. I feel very <laughs> honoured and privileged to be standing by the man himself. Um, so yeah, we'll take you along on this uh, overnighter and uh, see what happens, eh? Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> From there, cool. I'll edit this in over the over that line. Yeah, and just using it to pull it, pull it nice and taut. Cool. All right. So I then come round that side. I'll probably only get away with doing this one or two, and I go round the bottom again, and just give it another tightening. Back that way. Back that way. All right, so that gives me a nice tight, yeah, tight line from a ridge line, and then if I keep it nice and tight, I'm all fingers and thumbs with uh, knots. Just put a hitch in there. I need to change this ridgeline rope really. What is that? That's... It's just it's cheap paracord, but it's got no grip to it, it's old, it's degraded. So just like a round turn two half hitches into that just to keep it. There we go. And then the ridge line is um two prussic loops. Yeah. Very lazy, just hooked onto so they've got good grip, but you can still slide it. Yeah, yeah. Slide yeah, the knot. Stretch it. We'll move, you know, what move what I up. should do really is I should get round to at some point removing these clips because they're weight. Yeah. And I should really just get a twig off the floor, form a toggle that goes through there, and hook the prussic onto the toggle. You know, yeah, something but it's... like. So you put it. Um, uh, you know, take take your prussic through there whatever and just just leave a toggle you know that, that's that's how i should do it cool <laughs> but i've had the i've had the clips on there for so long that i just yeah, haven't gone around to taking the clips off <laughs> right so that, that that's your kind of i don't know what, what everybody would say is your bushcrafty way of doing it when you've got nothing else just use nothing a toggle it. and yeah do it like that but just for ease and a stick's only good as a stick but if i find myself for whatever reason needing another clip I've got another clip to use yeah um, yeah so using the prussic loop we've got a nice strong cool and then what I'll do is just peg her out peg her out right right okay now you might want to get one of your carabiners actually yeah all right been out for a walk round, just coming back into camp. Um, this is my setup for the evening. Uh, my new tarp. Um, and uh, Jedi has kindly lent me his hammock for the night. You can't really see that. Um, so I should be giving that a go and seeing. Uh, Seeing how we fare with that. Um, this side of the tarp we will be putting back up a bit later um, when it's uh, bedtime as such. Um, how good a how good a trip round was that? Fantastic. The amount of deer that we've seen. Point of view. Yeah, yeah. We probably had what four sightings I think across the, the whole circular walk we've had. We had one down there. We turned around and looked behind us and we had one deer that was creeping up from us behind. 
And the one that um, bolted out. We had jumped, the one yeah. you saw over there that bolted out and jumped. We've seen red kite flying through the trees, leaving their nest as we were coming out. The patch of four, five just up the top there. Yeah, brilliant. What a fantastic woodland. I was saying a Jedi earlier is a very lucky man to be able to come here and uh, see and do all what all what we uh, what we've done today. Um, but yeah, we're just uh, thinking of starting a, uh, a fire. The Jedi is going to be doing that for us. Oh my! Yeah. I oh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But before that, we'll just quickly show you Jedi set up um, with his tarp there. Um, light's fading a bit, so we're probably better off doing it tomorrow. Um, yeah, so this is camp, this is home for tonight. Um, we'll get a fire going and um, we'll bring you back in a bit, I think. Right, here we go guys. Out here with the uh, Jedi. I don't want to ruin Either your night little. vision, mate, really, but uh, there we go. Couple of crusaders, board in the bag. I think I've got venison. Is it venison stew? West Highland venison stew. West Highland venison stew. Um, I need to get myself a boil, boil cover, but I think that'll be fine. Lovely little fire. Sat here around the fire in the middle of nowhere, could be Cheers. anywhere. Cheers, Jedi, with a uh, bottle of cider there. Herbic. Dabinet. Yeah, that one there. Whatever. Beautiful, lovely drop of uh, of stuff. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And um, yeah, you can't really see much else, unfortunately. But there we go. We'll bring you back when it's ready and uh, see see how it tastes. Here we go. Right, hello again, guys. Um, sat here in this beautiful woodland, five to one in the morning, uh, with my good friend Jedi, just over there, with the famous chalice. Um, so, Brotherhood Chalice. Cheers, Jedi. I feel honoured. Thank you very much for a fantastic day, night. Um, Again, feel very honoured to be drinking from the chalice, the famous, what, what do you call this? The Brotherhood Just, Chalice. The Brotherhood Chalice. The Brotherhood Chalice. And the, the liquor is? Slow vodka. Slow vodka. Yeah, so, slow vodka. So, cheers Jedi. Good old. Cheers everyone. If you ever get offered by this man to his part, neck of the woods, you got to take him up on it. Oh, that's lovely, mate. Just don't <laughs> give me a pint. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've had a brilliant day. Um, I'll pick it, pick it up again in the morning at some point mm. if I make it through the night, um, which I'm sure we will. But uh, yeah, all the very best, guys. Cheers. Well, here we are, guys. First overnight, yeah. Um, Jedi's in his uh, tarp, in his tent over there. Um, just managed to get into a sleeping bag in the hammock. Um, yeah, great night, great day. The great guy. <coughs> um, a bit of a struggle to get into the. Uh, into the sleeping bag, into the hammock, being the first time. Um, but yeah, I'm in here, toasting and warm. It's raining a bit, so you can probably hear. Um, yeah, great day. Never done it before. You've got to do this. It's fantastic. Um, and if Jedi ever invites you to his place, you've got to come. This is. Uh, this is what it's all about. After my first overnighter, um, couldn't come with a better guy. Mm, right, it's about half one, two in the morning, so I'm going to try and get my head down for a bit. Um, I 
I'll see you in the morning. Morning everyone, how are we doing? Uh, there's uh, Jedi set up just over there. And we uh, we set Sandy's basher up over the fire. Sorry, I'm trying to film this on my iPhone. Um, so yeah, I've just got a, a pot back on, pot of water. Um, so we set the basher up over the fire. Um, obviously, uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, well away from the heat. Um, and this was my setup with uh, the hammock that Jedi kindly lent me for the night and my tarp, which took a bit of a battering last night, but uh, she held up well. So, um, fantastic for a first first night away, um, first overnighter. Um, brilliant. Jedi's a very lucky boy from having all this land to himself um, to come and go as he pleases, to light a fire and do the, the whole deal. So, um, yeah, great night. Um, might bring you back in a bit if we see anything interesting. Um, if not, all the best. Take care.